Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Callum Dolby and welcome back to another video. So this is just insane. Like, I woke up this morning and um, just waited a bit and then McAnthony announced we've signed George Boyd again. Oh uh, God, <laughs> I really don't know how to feel. This is pretty insane. I never thought, considering the wages he's on, like at Sheffield Wednesday and stuff like that, or he was on, I never ever thought I'd see him in a posh shirt again and uh, me, along with a lot of the fan base, the majority are very, very, very excited for to have him back and for this upcoming season. So, um, like I said, McCampany announced this about uh, midday on Twitter, just after midday, and he said, The White Palais began his EFL career with us in 2007. In 2013, he left us to go on and play in the Premier League. Today, today he has resi resigned for us on a two-year deal to finish his EFL career with us. Experience in, in a key area and a wonderful wonderful character has come home posh fans the gaffer sees him as a missing piece in the center mid area now of his stamina experience and technical ability he feels george can run any game my partners knew how important this signing was um to darren ferguson so well done jason david neil and uh randy which are the two co-owners um, for working on we've making this happen. Uh, it says George Boyd is finally home. We are all excited about making this happen. Welcome back, George. So yeah, that's um, that's what he said. I'll show the obviously I'll show the tweets as I'm reading them on the screen. But um, yeah, insane. Just uh, out of the blue, not really any rumours to be honest that he was coming back, like any concrete evidence, and just bang out of the blue he's. Um, He's, he's only come and done it. Uh, he said it, uh, after the Stamford game, he was working on a signing and bloody hell, this must have been it. And fair play because we have spent a lot of money, like the three owners we have have put a lot of money into this club. Not only just players, but obviously buying the council, uh, buying the ground back from the council and all that sort of good stuff. And it, yeah, it's, it's really exciting time to be a posh fan right now. This season should be really good. Um, like, can you imagine a team with Boyd, Dembele, Madison, Tony, Isa, like that's five like top quality uh, like attackers and that's not even counting on the bench, You'd probably have like George Cooper, Tazdemir, um, you know all these like just good quality players for League One, we're going to have a serious squad. Now does this mean that Madison or Dembele or someone else is going to go to free up the wages? I don't think so necessarily because I think we have more than enough money to pay for all of these players and I think most of these players are kind of settled um, in the in the city so I, I don't think there's much reason for them to move. Um, so yeah, hopefully Madison will join up back with the squad. I believe he is in a couple of days and hopefully he can get some pre-season games under his belt. That'll be good to see. And yeah, um, just insane. I... I'm so excited for, for this new season now, and I think the only thing to go and do is, because I haven't actually picked it, well, I haven't actually um, bought one yet, I think the only thing to do is uh, head, down to the, head down to the club shop now and um, <laughs> grab, myself a, grab myself a shirt with uh, George Boyd's name on the back. He's wearing number 21 as well. Jesus Christ, this is insane. Oh God, I'm so excited. But yeah, let's let's go there now. I can't wait.
uh, so I'll give you a bit of a better view of it when I'm actually home because I'm still sat in the car park at the moment but um, yeah I uh, managed to get one um, I was apparently I was the first person to get Boyd on the back so uh, that's pretty cool I guess and yeah like I said when I'm home I'll um, show you the shirt in a bit more detail and give my opinion on it right so here we are guys uh, this is the posh uh, new posh shirt in all of its glory with uh, boy 21 on the back they did a good job with the printing down at the club shop and uh, also shout out to them because uh, they did ask did ask obviously I walked in there with a camera so they did ask but um, they were completely fine with me um, filming in there and stuff so that's good obviously the new things are this black stripe on the collar um, obviously that's pretty much it on the back. There's got like these little sort of um, like patterns here, which you can see. Um, they're not too like they're not too stand out, but I feel like they're a nice little detail. the The quality of the shirt has definitely improved. Like the sleeves feel so much like I don't know. They feel so much better quality. Um, so fair play to. Uh, whoever made the, obviously Nike who made the kit. Um, I'm just gonna show you the front now as well. So this is the front of the shirt. Obviously, as you can see, it's largely the same um, to last season's with a few little slight changes. So obviously, Mick George and Nike, they're in exactly the same position. They're, they're exactly the same as last season's and so is the general pattern of this part of the shirt. And then you get into the actual crest, which is like a, printed on sort of I don't really know it feels quite nice it feels really high quality like if I um, get it from here um, it doesn't look like it will fade because I remember when we had a like a felt uh, print on one and it faded really quick in the wash but this one looks really good quality um, so hopefully it won't fade um, and yeah it looks quite professional it looks really nice to be fair and um, yeah, so I got a double XL and I'll show you how it fits now. Right guys, so as you can see, this is it on. It's pretty, well, it's quite actually loose fitting compared to, uh, so that's the back as well. It's quite actually loose fitting compared to some of the other ones which have been like right, like tight against like your shoulders and arms and stuff. But as you can see, it's got quite a bit of like room for maneuver, which I like. I don't, I like wearing baggy stuff. Like as you can see, look, there's quite a lot of space between um, the sleeve and the arm which is nice um, so I'm about 15 and a half uh, maybe just over that and 15 and a half stone I'm about 5'11 as well so if you're thinking about getting a posh shirt and you need to know what size is then that's what I went for I went for the double XL so it's a bit baggy on me I probably could have got an XL um, but yeah it's you know it's just bad because I like baggy things so yeah I really rate the new shirt actually I like the crest um, it's a lot high a lot better quality than I thought the sleeves are a lot better quality than last season they've got a real nice feel to them and then obviously you've got the uh, um, the Nike dry tick as well, so that's always good. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get into the final part of the video. Right, guys, welcome back to the final part of the video. As I was saying, so um, yeah, obviously I've got the new posh shirt. I am ecstatic about this boy signing, as you can see. <laughs> I, you know, all of the signings, well, most of the signings we've made, I'm very excited for, like uh, Dan Butler, Christy Pym, Mark Beavers. Uh, you've got uh, Tazdemir, Mo Isa, and obviously now Boyd. Um, I just like there's so many good players if we can fit them all into a team and they're all firing jesus christ we could have some high scoring games i'll tell you that um but yeah obviously i'm going to be wearing this most games that i vlog and i just can't wait for the season to get started in a couple of weeks now um it looks it looks really really promising we've done so well in the transfer window like better than we ever this is probably our best transfer window ever it's absolutely insane. Um, so I am going to now just throw you back to a few years ago um, with a little montage of George Boyd's uh, goals and stuff like that after this video, or after I stop talking. So because um, it'll be nice to you know see what we're potentially in for this season. So yeah, I'm going to run a little montage of his best parts from when he was. Um, 
a, a posh player previously but yeah guys um, I hope you liked the video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up if you didn't leave a thumbs down it's you know it's that simple comment down below what you want what content you want to see from me whether it's you know uh, more vlogs uh, more videos like this maybe some skit videos uh, gaming videos whatever just uh, comment down below and let me know because um, I'm pretty stuck for ideas at the moment, I'm going to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, most importantly, subscribe down below, uh, hit the big red subscribe button because I have hit 120 subs now, which is insane. Like, I took a couple of weeks break because I wasn't really sure what I could upload and I've uploaded two posh videos and since then I've gone from 98 to 120 subscribers in like four or five days. So yeah, thanks guys for like sharing my channel about um, and subscribing, it really, really does mean a lot. So um, yeah, click the bell next to the subscribe button to not get notified when I upload next and um, let's get that montage rolling. And as always guys, you know this by now, cheers. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.